Well, everybody, this is Sonia. And I'm back here again now. And I'm going to actually put some um, ink around this. You don't have to. Do I really want to? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just put it in there for the time being, okay? So there's our two little front bits, all right? Now you can decorate the rest of it like however you want to. Now, we're going to go over and do this one. So on here, you can have that as a journaling spot, I suppose, but you've got one over there too. So what can we put on this? Oh, I know. I want to put one of these on here. And it might fit. might fit. Now I've got these in a... Um, something. Whether somebody sent them to me or I bought them. I can't remember now. But I said the other day they were like a paper pad. Like a... I can not say a paper pad. They just, you just tear them off, look, you just tear them off like that. So you've got these little envelopes. Now, if you want to try and make a little envelope, that'd be, you know, it's not that hard. Um, so I probably should show you how to do that. <laughs> Telling you it's not that hard. Um, and I will just fold this. I want to fold this one up first to see if it fits, all right? Now, if I had my... Um, scoreboard out here which I can't really because I've got too much stuff out here as it is I'm just going to score along there and you just you know use use my guide as use that there as the guideline and then this comes in I'm using this um, stripe here as a guideline for it okay so that's a little bit crooked but we're just going to do the best we can aren't we and over here, just use the, that for your guide. And then you're going to put that in there. And it's too big, isn't it? Mm, maybe. But I'm going to show you how to make a little envelope so you don't have to worry about that, do you? <laughs> if it's too big, make it to fit. Right, so what, where we had our pieces of paper that we cut off, we could probably use this, couldn't we? This is a nice piece. We could probably use that. What do you think? Mm, be awful small, but why not? Okay, so I don't have the scoreboard, so I'm going to get my ruler. Yeah, I'm sure I will find it. <laughs> Or something that is straight and fairly sturdy that you can use as a guide to what you want to turn it over see so say for example I am going to use this piece here I'm going to want to have pieces that I'm going to turn in so if I go across this way and I put these under there like that so I'm sort of making these on the on the idea of this one, alright? So I'm turning that over there. I'm going to come over to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. The only thing is I'm going to have to cut a bit off, I think, because it's going to be too long at the bottom than the top. Okay. Right, so I've got those two bits done that turned over. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little turn up that comes up there and I'm going to have a turn up that comes down there, alright? So I need to work out about how far I'd like that to be. So there's no measurements, all right? So if you just do this, get your piece of paper. Now you mightn't have this crease in here that I already have, and I'm going to use that to my advantage just to put this little end bit. So I'm going to cut that off about here, okay? So when that comes up there, it'll be to there, righto? Now you want this other piece to come just over the top of it. Right? Hang on a second. You're not going to have this. Let's cut this off first. Wait a minute. We'll cut this bit off. Oh. Okay, so put it up under here and cut it off where that little mark is. You can do this with the scissors or whatever thing, ever, ever cutting thing you've got just to make sure that it's nicely cut right then you want to go and turn it up and then you're thinking now if I bring it down that far it's got to come over there 
so I measure that um, we go down here and we're going to need to cut it off about there okay so we're going to put this under here lift that up put it down where we need it to come to I hope it's straight I'm, I'm hoping I'm holding the thing straight I've got little lines here I should probably follow them hey eh? that's a good idea I want to put it up there though where it is so you can see what I'm doing okay so that's cut down there like so so now you've got these bits here right so you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut up <coughs> along here this bit to this corner all right and you're going to cut up hang on I need to crease it don't I let's crease that up and let's crease this down all right that's how far the little envelope's going to come over all right could go a bit further but that doesn't matter we don't we don't we need to be able to put something in there don't we so we're going to cut up that one and we're going to cut up this one here okay right so I'm turn around the other side and do the same thing over there and here okay make sure we've got the right things on you right now <coughs> we need to keep these inside pieces so we're going to open these bits out like so and we're going to not squish when we turn this up when we fold that over don't squish it don't squish it nobody squish it now we need to have a little a little tiny bit in right am i on the right bit yeah the bottom piece we need to have it come in like that on an angle so when you turn it over like that all you need to do is just cut it down from there down to your point and then that will fold up like so Gee, that was close. Look, I nearly missed that. All right, I nearly missed it. <laughs> Should I cut it down a bit further to fix that? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let myself get away with that today. But you can see what I've done. I've come too far in. When you do yours, don't come too far in. Okay? Just there, there's a little... I might just move this over a bit. You know what? Nobody said I couldn't, did they? Just move that in a tiny bit. So when you go to cut it, there we are. Make sure oh, it. Make sure you don't take too much off this part here that's going to fold up. Look, see. Now you need the top bit to go at a little roundy thing. <laughs> that's a word. It's a roundy thing. You know, it's one of those. So we're going to first cut these bits off. I think. We'll cut these bits off first. And up to there, to there. And from there to there. Right, now we need to make a little roundy bit. So we're going to fold this over like so. And very carefully start here and just come up around like that okay so now you've got that little roundy bit okay all right there's your little envelope how does that look pretty cool it's got a bit it's a bit better than a roundy bit these ones here can come off a bit further i think the side bits can come off a bit to a tiny angle only a tiny 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 bit to a tiny angle just so it's nice like that all right now when you get our book we're going to have plenty of room <laughs> to put it on there and to use it as a journaling spot now <clears throat> it just so happens that I have my stamp here but that's too big I made that stamp it's too the lines are going to be way too far apart so I can um, use something else can't I make lines just um, don't worry about lines that's the best idea <laughs> it's got that fixed real easy okay so just put this <coughs> on the back because you're not going to glue anything else down just the back because we're gluing this onto the paper okay onto your page we're not going to glue the envelope shut there's no need for that because he's not going to oops it's going to hopefully fold closed and make, me make sure we've got everything up the right way okay and the envelope up the right way and put the envelope in the middle of there I think it'd be nice in the middle 
and then you will just fold it up like so. Now, because it might pop open a bit, you need to give it a bit of a squish down, you know, you need to give it a press. And if we wanted to, we could put a little something on there to, you know, <laughs> not really the scissors, so I can't stay like that. Um, I'm going to bring this in a bit further, but then I might be still in the shot. Uh, we could just put that, there's, there's something that's going to go on there, okay? And that's going to be in the thought process for a bit down the track there. So we'll, we'll work on that a bit later, so we don't want to muck it up. But see, then you can open this up and you can write in there, journal down all your little secret things. Now, something that, there's something that I think I want to put on there is one of those flat back curly things, I think. I reckon that would work pretty good, don't you? A little tiny thing, not too much. But anyway, we'll find one of them directly <coughs> and put on there. So now for the next page, we'll see this has just got another, a bit of um, a drawing on it, right? lines I should say. So we're going to come back on there after we'll do a bit of stamping on that, alright? And same with that one. Now this one here has got a, um, a crease in it there. So what we need to do for that is cover it up with something. A little bit of lace. Okay? We'll put a little bit of lace down there, cover it up and use it for a tuck thing. Right? We're going to actually put two pieces and we're going to use this other glue because I don't want it to be going anywhere. I'm just going to put a bit, oh dear, look at that. Gee, that was not good. It all fell out everywhere. And another bit up here. Tons of glue. That's what I mean about my glue. It seems to it's not good for me. Is it? It's not helping me one bit whatsoever. And now we're going to put that at the bottom. You can get, get control of it. There, the bottom. And this at the top. This is interesting trying to do this upside down. But I really need to um, show you. So I want you to look at it the right way. Okay, so now we're going to put that there, and we're going to put more glue. <laughs> Why not? More glue, because I want to make it a bit wider. And I'm thinking about putting a bit over the other side as well, to give it a... so it's a bit more stable. Or we could put a button in the middle of it. Come on, you get down there. I'll cut this off so it's not taken... I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to chop that there. Okay, I might have to turn around for a second. Nobody panic, I'm just going to need to fasten this where I can get it. I don't want to bring it down too tight to lift that up, but it needs to be reasonably tight, okay? You don't want it to be wobbling all over the place. Because if you put something in there, it may move and take it, might take it fall out. That's a good thing that I've got in there, isn't it? We could probably put that in there later. Because you've got bits of scrapbooking stuff about, everybody would have, so I can use that for it. Now this is very wobbly, this page. <clears throat> so what I want to do with that is glue this one onto it, okay? And that way, I know I'll be down a page, but I'm going to have something a bit more sturdy. You know, you need something a bit sturdier there. So I'm going to glue this paper onto it. You can get another piece of paper and glue it onto it, or you can just use the page next like I did. I'm just going to use this next page. Okay. I'll glue that over there like that. And then that will make that a bit sturdier, that paper, because it's a piece of um, vintage piece of and wipe this glue off this thing. So I'm covered in bits and pieces of everything stuck to it. Okay. Now we've got that like so. And that doesn't look too bad, does it? That looks pretty cool. We're going to come back on and do a little bit of stamping after. 
So this here, I'm quite pleased to put that in there. I'm happy with that if you've got a piece of something you can sit in yours like so. I'm going to put some paper in that to make a little book, I oh, reckon. Maybe I'm going to do it over the next page. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, no, we'll make it for there. We'll have to make a little book for there because I've actually got one done than I did earlier. This paper's a lot darker. Actually, I don't know what I was going to do with this, so I might put it in here anyway. I need to cut it out a bit better. It's a little bit uneven and what have you. So we'll just cut this out. Now, I made the little book exactly the same way as what I did the sewing in for my papers, my pages for it. So all you have to do is make a little book with paper. The fit in the size of the pocket that you want it to go in, okay? So um, I'm just here cutting this out. Believe me, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm here. Okay. Now... So I've got this little book, right, and you can put that in there instead of the other thing. So that's what I made the same way. I went a little bit off course there, you can see, but that doesn't matter because it's just, you know, it's the thing. It's the thing of the thing. Okay. Now, so we've got this here. We make sure this is stuck down and there's a little edge that I don't really want to be visible, okay? Uh, so, I'm going to put a piece of paper on there that's got a bit of a picture on it, what do you reckon? So I can um, cover that up, make that a little bit more you know, interesting, I suppose. Now, we need to cut it up here. You're not going to see what I'm doing here, are you? Go out, Sonia. I know. Going to cut it here. I'll probably put that back in the same place, you know. There and probably that a lot wide. Okay. So there's me little things. Let me see. I'm going to take this out a little bit. So you go over the W thing, Sonia. Okay, see, here's me. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> All right. Now. Uh-huh. Sitting up here again like Lady Mark. <laughs> Bonnie found that quite amusing. Um, <laughs> I'm cutting this in the right place. Yes. I think that comes from my mother too, Bonnie. She probably said that to me as well. And I'm going to put, cut this down here like so. You think I got the right bit? Yes, I did. Look at that with a piece of the flower. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> right, I'm happy with that. Now, I'm going to put this down here. This is just a little way of using up tiny bits and pieces and also having a bit of fun as you go. I have another glue stick here. It's a small bloke. And I can just go along like this. Put a bit of glue on, Woo. on it and me, and the other side as well, so you stop it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put this down here. Okay. So I'll be drawing my um, prize winner for the giveaway. In a couple of days, aren't we? So that'll be interesting. See you on that. I still got a few more questions that I've got to answer, so I'll be doing that on that day, okay? And I'll just cut that off there because it's a little bit too long, and so I've got a little bit of trim down the side, and that just it makes the thing that you're working on, like the book and the page, a lot sturdier to add a little bit. When I did my last journal that I made. I've put nearly every page as actually re um, being used again with uh, like another piece of paper onto it. That one I'm going to leave because that's that's sturdy enough, you know. But I don't want anything that's 
going to be flapping around and that may have been because it was very soft so I'm going to put that there now this one here is just a another plain piece of paper I hate to see a plain piece of paper I'm not very, not very good with seeing a plain piece of paper so let's find out we must have little bits and pieces everybody's got little bits and pieces of stuff that they've collected up put away or whatever over the time that they can use you can get little pictures out of magazines or books or something you know that you want to put on things so that's a card now I bought that at, a, at one of the um, objects of Vinnie's and, and there's nothing wrong with that but that's a really nice picture there isn't it I might be able to use that this is off another this is off a piece of a um, page writing paper see that on there and you could still journal on but it looks looks good doesn't it because you've got something something on the page something of interest on the page to to look at well you are doing your writing down yeah I don't know if I've got anything small in this packet because I do have a few bits and pieces that I've chopped up because I, I do enjoy cutting out things my husband will tell you that and there's a nice piece of something that I, somebody sent me he sent me that bit I think on something so I can use it what's on this oh. and plus I do get things out of old sewing books nobody wants anymore. There's a bit of a cross stitch thing. Um, this is out of one of my sewing books as well and I do like the fact that I've got little pictures there you know. You can see that and you can use those as well because that's out of a, a sewing book. Uh, here's another piece out of one of those uh, paper pads. So that's something that you can use. We've got a few bits of them bird things. There's another piece. What's going on here? <laughs> or you can use little flowers that you cut out or whatever you want. Whatever you like. It makes it what you want it to be your own thing. And this is a this is too big, but I've I've used a picture out of a children's book and I put a cut on there. And I put lace around the outside. And that looks really good as a, a, a tuck as well. So I might actually use do something like that with this. And there's a piece of that I like, that we've been using. So um, there's plenty of ideas out there, plenty of ideas for, for things to do. Um, I do like to use the material. I do like to use material and tags and things in my journals as you probably will know so I think I'm going to use a piece of calico I'm going to tear that and I'm going to put that somewhere because I just want to you know it's just I do like to have a bit of fabric in what I, things that I do I don't want it to be too wide because I don't want it to actually take up too much space just rip that and just cut a piece off and rip it and then I'll do the same with the other side so I've only got a small piece also, you can use these for if you want to do some stamping on it. You can stamp on it. If you wanted to do something like that, stamp on your. What is it Gallico? Any sort of fabric can do some stamping on it. It'll still work. So now that I've got all this stuff on the table here, I'll find something that I want to put on here. So I'm going to put on. I thought I'd use one of them bird pictures that I had. So I'm really partial to these birds, as you well know. So I'm going to put this um, I'm going to cut this off here because that's a bit wonky at any bit. Yeah. A bit screwed up that wasn't it? I'm going to go under this one. Oh, why that's that shape? I never even put this near this thing. Yet. <laughs> You didn't get far enough under there, Sonia. Yeah? Keep going. We get yeah, I like that bird. I do. I hope you don't. I'm not doing the same thing all the way through here. I don't think I am. I'm sort of. I'm liking changes and things. Calico is really good to go down the 
inside bit that's covering over the bird. I know it's not too bad. Do I want that on there? Maybe on this side. Just for a, a little bit of interest, you know, something in the pack. There's something there already, Sonia. Okay, I know. I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it on this side. Here. I'm going to glue it along there. And then it can be part of the other page too, really. Just I'll show you what I'm talking about. And just bring that up along there. Glue that on. It's coming over a bit, not too far. Well, maybe brought it out too far over the page. I don't know. Because when you close it, it meets this other page. It comes up there to meet the other pages. I just like that sitting out. It's okay for it to be. But it's meeting up with these other pages and it's not that out that far. Look. See? So I've got that on there. I'm going to cut this across the bottom. This is not an easy thing to do when you've got a whole book there in front of you. But it... And then, <coughs> and then I'll put that on here, wrong side, wrong side. Put it over there. Bird. It's going to go there, so I need to cut this off at this point. Maybe a bit of a mask there. I really wore this thing out today, haven't I? I didn't need it, didn't I? I was just to sit there for ages, just keep cutting paper and cutting paper and cutting paper. I'm trying to trim it to where I needed it to go. I probably never ended up straight anyway, it was just really hard. <laughs> right. Now we're going to put this piece on the side where, on this side here. So you can journal on there. We're going to have to have something on the inside here now as well. Because we do. <laughs> Not because of any other reason other than that's how I feel about it. So you need to put something on the inside a bit. Alright, when I finish making this, I'm going to do a series on sewing stitches and things, I think. I don't know, I'm going to try and get myself into doing a bit more of this coming here. There's the things that, there's things that stop you but you can still try your best to keep doing things. Better for us if we do. It's no good getting, oh dear. Now that's crooked on you. You've got it on there crooked, now fix it. Okay. We're going to fix it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Maybe you can't, but that doesn't matter because it's not probably straight at all. You know what? It could be the thing that's underneath it. It could have been my cutting out because I think I'd already cut the top a bit. <coughs> Let me see. Has it got no glue under there? <coughs> be a good idea to put more glue on. There you go. This bit here's skew with. Yeah, I have done something scary. I'm going to cut that off though. Don't be really petty. I'm just straightening this. I promise that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing because you can see the back of the book. I'm going to cut this off here to straighten it, okay? Because when I cut it out, I put it on that thing and cut it crooked because. I didn't have it cut straight in the first place. You gotta start off with a straight edge, you do. It's very helpful if you do. Okay. I didn't even get that bit. Ah <laughs> oh dear, it's fighting me today now. Starting to fight me. Come on. It's gotta go and stick down. Okay, so that's got that, hasn't it? We got this bit. I've got glue all over my hands. Can't feel a thing with the glue on my fingers. I don't know now. That looks pretty cool. Now we've got to do something pretty with the inside bit. And that'll probably be this. 
bit of this. What do you think? Where have we got that on that page? Well, we don't know if we want to do, do another one so close. Now, that's a good bit for a um, pin. We need a pin on that. Pin and a bead or two. That'll be cool. Right. I'll find that in a minute. We've got to get back to this bit first here. We need to fix this piece with a bird on it. Put some lace or something down in that, in that spot. Turn that over. Let's see what we've got here. How about a nice piece of pink? That's pretty. Just to cover up that piece of... Yep, we're going to do that. And we're going to put some glue on, of course. See, that's crooked, that thing. It's shocking. Anyway. I'm going to cover it over, so... So I want the pieces scalloped along the edge of my piece of paper. On the bird, where the bird is. See? Right. Don't put it back down in the crease because it won't be helpful later on when you go to close your book if it's going to all buckle up because it's got glue stuck down in there. I'm just trimming these end bits off. So I'm going to put a bit more glue on the end of this one, I think. Sticking me to the thing instead of the piece of lace. Right. There we go. So now that doesn't look too bad, does it? It's pretty. Each one of these, you know, you can do any way you like. Do whatever you like with it. Every little page is different, isn't it? I want to put some bits on a piece of calico and stick them somewhere, like so, or maybe on this one, here, oh, it might be in the other shot, yeah pretty much, <laughs> dear oh dear, I wonder how long I've been doing this one for, I should have, I don't know why I didn't time this, okay, so now I've got another piece, of, I've got another page to deal with, so that'll be this one here that's got pretty, pretty bland sort of look to it, isn't it? blend. So what we can do to fix that up, oh look what I made the other day, look at my little dress. See, see the cardboard, it can be a tuck spot, can't it? We can put that in. Quick tutorial on how to make one of those, okay? I'll make, I'll do a quick, I'll do use a quick tutorial on that. And then I might have to have a break for the day. Now, we got, we need a piece of cardboard stock because that's pretty sturdy because it needs to be to make a little dress okay now pencil you good pencil no no pencils well <laughs> oh dear me where's my pencil okay where's the jar oh, too easy if i put it in there wouldn't it i did have pencils here somewhere i really do I was trying to sort out this um, place so I could do some work on and it's not a pencil, it's a biro. Well, I guess we're going to have to just see how clever I'm not, or whatever I am, or whatever, so I can do this, okay? So, <clears throat> we need the skirt bit, right? So we're going to <clears throat> make... I've got the skirt coming from underneath the, oh, well, really up high because it's a long dress safe. It was a small thing. Okay, so we're just going to take it down either side like so. What actually I would rather do, which I should have done, is um, made a template for it first by folding it in half. Now, this is what we should do pro probably. You can fold it in half like that, okay? Now you just want to do one half of the dress, right? So we're going to work out that it's going to be twice that wide. Right? Mm -hmm. Imagine your imagination, right? And come up to there. And then we need a little bit of body. And a part here where your shoulder bit's going to be. Cross here like so. And down here like that. Okay? Now maybe this part here is not long enough. 
I probably should bring it up a bit. But you know what? I'm going to cut it and see what happens. So I'm going to cut out across here. I'm going to go up here like this. And I'm definitely using the wrong part of my scissors. Because I need to do it further up on the end. And then I'm going to cut that up higher. And I'm going to take that down there like that. And I'm going to open it up. And I have a dress shape. Yeah. What do you think? Now, I think it's a little bit too high. So I'll fold it in half. And I will just snip that off there like that. All right. So that's not quite as big. But that's how you do your little dress to make a tag. All right. Now you can do it that way because... Then, when it comes to cutting it out, all you have to do is sit on your piece of paper, your card, and just cut it out. Cut around that. And then you add a piece of um, lace, okay? So, that's not that hard. You just can do that. <laughs> you know, just draw your little pattern, but fold it in half like I did, and just draw your little picture. You can do that with lots and lots of things. Heart shapes are a good fun to do like that too, look. You can just do your, just do this part here and come down like that, and that's really crooked. And then all you've got to do is cut it out, okay, into the shape. And that's how you get both your sides or whatever you're making to be the same size because it's really hard to get the people the, the things the same. It's a bit wonky, but it still worked, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so that's how you do your little. Um, dress okay unless you've got a, um, a cut and out thing which I do have but at the moment that's just not going to be uh, <laughs> able to do that because I don't have it handy and I think it's only like a dress form shape it has, isn't actually the little dress so um, but anyway this is, that's how you do that now I can put that in here somewhere to use for a tuck spot I might even put it on this page I think I think it'll look really nice down there and then you can use it for a little tuck to put stuff in. I'm going to turn it up this way so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to sit it like that. And I'm going to glue. I might try the tuck spot idea first. And see what I can put behind it. What little hole. Okay. If I stick it down there. It should be okay to stick something up in there. Okay. So I need to glue the bottom part. So all you do is put a little piece of lace around, I put a little flower on, made a little bow and sat on there. Alright? Now back to what I was doing. I'm just gluing along here, aren't I? Not too much. Otherwise we won't be able to stick anything down behind. Upside down. <laughs> Hang on a minute. No, I've got the book the right way, haven't I? Okay. <laughs> Rightio. Let's sit that there like that. And that'll stick on. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can be able to put something down the back of there to how far, like that. Right, let's just use something smaller for the time being. That's going to sit up. Doesn't impress me at all. Maybe after a while it might start to lay down flat when it's shutting the book. Okay, and then you can put a little something there behind it. Which is probably something that I'm going to make and pin on anyway because I want to do that. So I'm going to be doing some pins as well to show you how to do the pins to put in. I've showed, oh dear, don't, oh, please don't close your book while you've still got wet glue on there. Okay, nobody get upset, it's coming off okay. I don't think it's going to take the paper off it, and if it does, which it may well do, because look at me digging away. <laughs> It will take the paper off. <laughs> put a put a flower on it. Where's a flower? Quick. Give me a flower. Okay, somebody give me a flower quick. I need a flower. I know I've got some here in the living for Bob Ball yesterday. Some here paper. Here we go. Let me see. Come on. What did you do with it, Sonia? I don't know. I need a flower. It's urgent. <coughs> Very important that I do. <clears throat> you probably find these things when you're gone and I finish talking to you. I just gotta find that 
those things. What did I do with them? Crikey. Oh, yeah, where is it? Looks like I'm not going to be able to fall flat on after all. Is it? It's going to be a sticker anyway. You know the stickers with the birds? What do I do with them? <coughs> Oh dear, right, no, nothing. Where are they? Here they are. Oh, this will do. Put a flower on that. Where am I? Okay. Right, stick a flower on the glue. How's that? <laughs> Shouldn't take this that long if you've got one handy. <laughs> it wasn't that hard at all, really, was it? Okay, so now that doesn't look too bad. I'm a little bit fussed about the corner but we'll we'll sort that out. We'll sort it all out. So we're nearly we're nearly there. We've only got a few more to go. got a few few more to go. But you know what? It's I'll give you a couple of ideas how to make your little envelope there that you can so you should have a few things you're working on while you're waiting to see me again, which probably won't be for a couple of days because I've got to go out in the hot tomorrow and get some bits and pieces. Um and so hopefully we can get some more done on Sunday, okay? Maybe tomorrow I could still do it anyway because I can sit in here and we're going to do something with that, all right? So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Can you please say something about it if you want to? Um, I have a person that follows me quite um, faithfully and gives me a thumbs down nearly every video I do, so there you go. <laughs> and, um, I want to thank everybody else that subscribes to my channel and, and, and leaves lovely comments and... And I really hope you have a, a lovely day. Now, can you press a little bell? And then when I do the next videos, there'll be a thing comes up and it'll tell you that I'm, it'll be a notification to tell you that I've done a video. Okay? And if you click on the bell. And um, and if you're my, one of my subscribers. And uh, I'm really pleased that, um, that, that, you know, that so many people like what I do. And that is very, it makes me feel really good that I'm, I'm showing people how to do stuff. And and they're enjoying it. So thank you everybody for watching and please stay warm or cool wherever you may be. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.